Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. It's gonna be a warm one here today. 73 degrees right now, 74 degrees. Looking at a high of around 86 today. Just making my way out to the beach down at the south end of area four right now. Tide's making its way in. Still got red tide out here, unfortunately. Oh, sad, sad, lots of fish on the beach. Again, lots of dead fish on the beach today. Not good. Lots of shells, but oh my gosh. Look at all the fish down here. terrible look at the size of this little angel fish my goodness angel fish everywhere look at the size of this one that's a big one there so sad seeing all these fish washed up on the beach All different species of fish. There's a puffer fish over here. There's a poor dead little puffer fish. Ah, terrible. There's a barracuda. Wow. There's a Barracuda washed up on the beach. Look at the teeth on that barracuda. Wow. Sadly, there's fish up and down the beach as far as I can see here. What a shame. Not a good thing, not a pretty sight. Quite a few shells on the beach though. Take a walk along the beach here, see what we can find. There's a little worm tip. tip right there that's the tip of a worm shell there's a little baby cockle shell just a little tiny cockle and there's a great big slipper shell it's a nice size slipper there slipper shell Good morning, how are you doing? Good. The tide's on its way in here. Sadly, probably gonna be washing more fish up on the beach. There's a little piece of finger coral down here. Just 
just a little, it's like the base of a piece of finger coral right there. There's not so many fish here right now. Just to the north of me at the south end of area four, there was a lot of dead fish on the beach from the red tide. Not so many here. Just some little ones. There's a piece of worm rock. Little tiny piece of worm rock. It's kind of cool when you look at it up close. There's another nice little cockle shell over here. That's a nice looking cockle. The turkey wing kind of faded, kind of losing its stripes here, that turkey wing shell. There's a little jewel box shell. Part of, it's kind of a worn out jewel, worn jewel box. I think I'm gonna turn around, start walking north up the beach. There seem to be a, a lot more shells further up the beach. Got a good whiff of the red tide here. <coughs> Ooh, stinky. <coughs> Boy, <coughs> it's pretty strong. I don't see Roy. Saw his car in the parking lot. He must be up towards the pass, up at the north end here. This red tide sucks. Just killing our beaches here. Oh, there's a really nice, beautiful cockle shell over here. That's a nice size one. Boy, look at that cockle shell. Look at the colors on that one. That's a beauty right there. That is a really nice looking cockle shell. There's a little scallop. Let's see what color this scallop is. See it right down here? Let's flip it over. Kind of a brown color. You can tell the scallops by those little wings down at the base, the scallop shell. There are lots of little cockle shells on the beach this morning. Lots of them. Nice little one right there. It's got some great color in it. Good morning. Now we're getting back down to all the dead fish. Big kitten's paw shell and a little tiny scallop shell. Look at that little scallop there, the red shell. Two nice little shells right there. A 
there's an old old whelk. That'd be interesting to hang on the shell tree. I'm gonna keep that one. Boy, just saw several barracudas here. Here's another barracuda that got washed up in the red tide. Look at the teeth on those things. Definitely don't want to mess with a barracuda out in the water. What the heck is this, a grouper? Darn. Man. Sad, sad seeing these fish on the beach. Very sad. Oh, here's a nice little baby conch shell over here. I love collecting these. These little fighting conchs. It's got a little chip in it. That's a little fighting conch shell right there. <laughs> Another whiff of that red tide. There's a nice little scallop, I believe. Ah, it's got a chip in it. Scallop shell. Lots of slipper shells out here on the beach. There's a couple of slippers right here. Little slippers. It's a little tiny. Mossy Ark, little baby Mossy Ark shell. Nice little lineup of shells here, it's a little pile. Smaller shells. See a lot of little kitten's paws in there. The jewel boxes. There's a nice jewel box shell. Beautiful weather. Other than the red tide, it's gorgeous out here. Anything interesting down here? Let's see. This is the types of shells, all these little ones where you really got to take your time and bend over and look. And the more you look, the more you're going to find. There's an old conch shell.
There's a great looking turkey wing shell right there. That's a great looking turkey wing. You can really see why they call it a turkey wing when you look at this one. Well, there's a lot of great little shells out here this morning. Unfortunately, the tide's going to be coming up and pulling all these back into the water soon. So if you want to do some shelling, you need to get out here now. Yeah, there's a little baby turkey wing. I'm in the middle of Area 4 Beach right now. Just making my way north. Pretty clear skies this morning. Not so many shells up here. There was a pretty heavy concentration of shells back there at the south end of Area 4. As I move north here, there's not so many shells on the beach. Not as many dead fish either. There's a catfish down there. Starting to smell pretty ripe. It's around 75 degrees now. Expecting a high of 86 today. Not too many people at the beach this morning. A lot of people just can't take that red tide. You can see if I zoom in, you can see that how hazy it is. A lot of mist in the air the water's getting really churned up you can barely see the condos down there in park shore you can just barely see the condos through the mist down there now, there's a few people here there's somebody taking their time going through all those shells that's how you gotta do it. You gotta bend over and just take your time and walk slow. You never know what you're gonna find.
sun is just starting to come up over the trees. Well, Roy's not walking on the beach this morning. Hmm. Or else he got here really early. He's sitting up under the trees this morning. I usually run into him down here on the beach. It's warm today, huh? Yeah, I got a lot of no seams up here. I might move down by the surf. I didn't how come you're not out walking? I just finished. Did you? Just got all done, yeah. I had my hours walk. Wow, you got started early then today. Yeah, I did. Oh, I saw the sunrise up there at the Wasn't end. that beautiful, that big oh, orange boy. ball? Yeah, that was really something. Gosh. So how's everything going with you? Good, good. Well, you can't beat that. Need somebody. Anything new? Anything fun happened yesterday? Exciting? Well, we had our final choir. It wasn't a concert, but it was the final meeting of everybody up at Perkins Restaurant. We all uh, kind of got together and had lunch together and whooped around. You have to have a pie when you go to Perkins. Did you have that, some pie? Or they give you a free pie with your meal. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's the best part of the meal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had a really good time. So that was kind of finished choir up for the season. Nice. <laughs> How's your garden coming? How's oh your... yeah, boy, is it ever, it's blooming out. The, the nice lady, Emily Powers, sent some um, some already sprouted little plants. That's already what she have said. the little blossoms some on. Little seedlings? Yeah, and... I got those all planted. And, wow. Oh, it's a big thrill. So I got trays after trays. I got a, oh, wow. out there by the pool. So hopefully you have a lot of wildflowers. That sounds nice. That'll, that'll be a lot of fun. Something else to keep you busy? Well, there's something interesting. You see these things, a little tiny seed, how it sprouts and grows yeah. and grows and spends leaves and eventually have a flower and hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of a thrill. So I don't think you got many hugs this morning, did you? Well, I got a couple good hugs, yeah. Did you? Yeah, yeah. That red yeah. tide's pretty Emily bad. Emily was again. here, Jeannie was here. Oh, really? Yeah, so I got two good hugs. Is there anybody down the end fishing? Yeah, there's a bunch of fishermen. Really? The red tide wasn't as bad this morning as it was yesterday. There was a lot I, of fish on the beach, though. Yeah, I think they must have picked them up last night because there weren't as many as there were oh, yesterday. Oh, there's a lot of them down there. Yeah, they're kind of stinky. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty bad. I was right down there. There's, It's bad now. There's big, a lot of it in the air. Yeah, it's really smelly. It's too bad, but that's life, I guess. Well, I'll come back and check in on you here. Make That'd sure you're still here. I'm going to walk down a little further down the beach, well, up the beach. Be here another 25 more years, good Lord will. There you go. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you look comfortable today. <laughs> well, I'm settled in if the no see will leave me yeah. alone. It is going to be a hot one today. There's a little breeze blowing. Yep. I'll be back. Oh, okay. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. Always, Roy. Back down to the beach here. We'll check in with Roy a little bit later. Not many shells here. There were quite a few shells down at the south end of area four beach. Not much here in between four and five. Let's see, I'm not hearing any our I'm not hearing our ospreys chirping away up there. Let's see if I can get up point it, find the nest up here here's our osprey nest see it up right up there in the top of the tree top center there the center of the screen 
I don't hear any noise coming out of there this morning. But we do have a mating pair of osprey up there. He might be hunkered down in the nest right now. That's up in the north end of Area 4, up, up near where our friend Roy sits. Just joining us, yes, we still have the red tide. So there's not going to be as many people at the beach while that's going on. There's still dead fish out here as well. quiet this morning. There's a big haze in the air. You can really see how hazy it is out there on the horizon. Got a whiff of that red tie. Yep. Hmm, nothing along the beach here. Nothing along the beach except dead fish. Look at all the erosion we've had here. We're really losing a lot of beach here at the north end of the park. That's terrible. Erosion and red tide not going very well. Boy, here's a huge piece of a cockle. That was one big cockle shell at one time. Look at the size of that. Man, that thing was huge. That would have been a nice find. Beautiful colors.
It's a big clam shell out here. It's a nice size clam shell. A lot of people use these for ashtrays or little bowls. That's a big one. It's got some nice color to it too. Kind of a beige. Nice big old clam shell. Oh, there's another one down there. It is sad seeing these fish up on the beach. A lot of fish all caught up in here along the ridge. These beautiful angel, angel fish, so sad seeing them. Lots of angel fish. Such beautiful fish and all just killed by the red tide. Look at them. They're such gorgeous fish. They're everywhere this morning. Very sad. There's a little red snapper. Thank goodness it doesn't affect the dolphins. Oh, there's a nice turkey wing shell. I'm going to hang this whelk shell, this piece of a whelk, on the shell tree. This is for you guys watching. For those of you that can't make it down here to hang a shell, you find a nice little spot here. Where's a unoccupied branch. It's getting pretty full here. Here's a nice one here. Yeah. See if I can get it down there. There you go. That shell's for you guys watching. That's a whelk. Part of an old whelk shell. This is becoming a pretty popular tree right here. We're hanging the seashells. My brother-in-law, Rick, he hung one up way up top there about a month ago when he was visiting. Still up there.
Oh, there's a big piece of worm rock. Look at that. There's a big chunk of worm rock. It's got a nice hole in it there. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. Almost a perfectly round hole drilled through that by something. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Worm rock. See where it happens to our connection here. We always lose our connection up here at the north end of the park. Got some fishermen out here. They say the red tide doesn't affect your catch. This, you don't eat the organs of the fish. That's what the red tide affects. Just make sure you clean your fish good. Oh, there was a nice big cockle shell here and the wave just came up and washed it away. There's a little one. Where'd that big cockle shell go? Oh, there's a cockle over there, upside down. Little old conch shell. Florida fighting conch. Beautiful shell right there. Make a nice little souvenir. Nothing in it. The Florida fighting conch. It's got some barnacles on it up there. Kind of neat looking. turkey wing over here. There's a conch shell buried in the sand. Anybody home? Nope, nothing in that one. Another nice fighting conch. Florida fighting conch. There's a nice, wow. There's a beautiful, beautiful, I'm gonna wash the sand off this, hang on. Beautiful little Florida fighting conch shell. Definitely gonna keep this one. You don't, oh, it's alive. Can't keep that one. Look at that, there's a little conch in there. Beautiful shell. But there's a conch in there, so obviously we're not gonna keep that one. Great looking shell. Let's see if I can see if he comes out of his shell. Hard to hard to see him down there. He's so small, but he's in there. That's a little baby Florida fighting conch. Trying to get the light in there. It's hard. I don't know if you can see him down there or not. You can see his foot. It's a beautiful shell. We're gonna leave it here on the beach. The tide will pull him back out into the water. I'll kind of bury him in the sand. He'll be fine.
There's Wiggins Pass, the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Well, I saw quite a few nice cockle shells on the beach this morning. That's a nice one. I haven't seen any shark eyes or whelks. Not even broken shark eyes. Moon shells. There's a piece of abandoned tulip shell. Beautiful shells when you find them, abandoned tulips. You have to use your imagination. That's just a piece of one. There's a couple fishermen up here at the pass. Not a lot in the way of seashells this morning. Still feeling the effects of the red tide though. That stinks, literally. Now, there's a handful of fishermen out here this morning. Tides on its way in here. Well, let's head back down the beach, see what we can find. We'll go chat with Roy. Not exactly sure what that's supposed to be. Other than a big hole for somebody to fall in. I'm gonna take a quick photo, hang tight. All right, I'm back here. Sorry about that. If you're just tuning in, this is Wiggins Pass. This is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida.
we just walked up the beach. This is called Area 5. We started down in Area 4 and walked up here this morning. Still got a lot of dead fish on the beach from the red tide. Still feeling the effects of the red tide. Yeah, we lost our signal there for a minute. We're at the mercy of Sprint. There's no Wi-Fi out here, so whatever cellular service you have, that's what you gotta live with. I was saying, you know, we're still feeling the effects of the red tide. Still have some dead fish on the beach. There's dead fish still washing up. All kinds of fish, catfish, barracuda. Look at this barracuda down here. Look at the size of the teeth on that barracuda. Wow. Those are some monster teeth. Wow. How are you doing? Very good. Good, How yeah. Are you? Good, good. Catch anything today? No. Nothing. Uh, Too bad. You don't need to go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. No, not catching any fish. That's no surprise. It's just so sad seeing these fish bloating up on the beach here. That's just something we deal with here, the red tide. Google, if you're interested to learn more about red tide, if you've never heard of it, if you don't know what it is, Google it. There's lots of information on the internet about red tide. The one type of fish I've never seen on the beach that was affected by the red tide was a shark. I've never seen a dead shark washed up in the red tide. I wonder if they're immune to that or if I just never saw one. If they do wash up and I've never seen one. But I've never seen a shark on the beach during the red tide. We have lots of sharks out here in the Gulf. A lot of you are used to seeing beautiful videos here when I'm doing my beach walks. Unfortunately, it's a little different this morning. And we've been dealing with this red tide now for over a month. Not good for Southwest Florida. It's not good for our economy either. The beaches draw a lot of people to Southwest Florida. I thought I saw a murex shell on the beach there, but no. Here's the top of a whelk shell. 
the very top of a lightning whelk. I haven't found any of them lately either. It's just the very top of an old lightning whelk. shell tree. One of our shell trees. When you see these trees on the beach, remember these, a lot of these shells have meaning to people. A lot of folks hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So show a little respect. Sometimes people hang some really nice shells on the tree and people think, oh look, there's a great shell. I'm gonna take it home as a souvenir, but come on. That person hung that shell there for a reason, not for you to pick it off. <laughs> not to make it easy for you to find a seashell. My friend JP's shell up there, still, still hanging. Nobody took it off. Somebody hung another little shell in front of it. See that big conch shell? That was for my friend and business partner JP. JP Thies passed away last month. Then earlier this morning. On my walk up the beach, I hung this, what's left of that beautiful little whelk shell there. That's for you guys, that's for everybody watching. If you can't make it to the beach, beautiful little whelk shell, an old whelk shell, that's for you all watching. have not seen any birds along the beach this morning, yet. Maybe we'll see some here in a little bit. We usually see a lot of sandpipers, little snowy egrets. A lot of times we'll see ibis out here along the shoreline, white ibis. Some little sandpipers up ahead of me running around on, on the beach. Ugh, just got a whiff of that red tide. Ooh, strong. That is strong. See all these little bubbles down here? It's 
little, see what's down there. It's usually coquinas doing that, burying themselves into the sand. Let's see if we can find another one here. We'll wait till a wave comes up. Of course, now there's no big waves coming up on the beach. Isn't that something? When I want a nice big wave to come up on shore, it calms down out here. Hmm. Let's see if we see any little action here. Nope, no bubbles. Here comes the big wave. Anything? No. Nothing burying itself in the sand, darn it. How about this big one? Now, see if anything's down here. Nope. Nothing there. That was just the air pocket. A lot of times there's little coquinas burying themselves, coquina shells, sometimes some sand fleas. Sand fleas are wild looking things. Kind of look like cockroaches to me. There was a bunch of little sandpipers up here, now they're all gone. One bigger one here. Condos there. There's a pass in between us, Wiggins Pass. Those condos, that's Barefoot Beach over there. If you look really close, you can see all the way up the coast, almost up to Fort Myers Beach. Kind of hazy there this morning. sky though. Clear sky today. Still feeling the effects of the red tide if you're just tuning in. Still have lots of dead fish on the beach. It's a big 
piece of coral. All kinds of neat things in there, old shells. It's a pretty big chunk there. Might be, a, looks like maybe an old piece of worm rock. You can see the worm tubes. Wow, that's a pretty nice sized wave there. I love just listening to the sounds of the waves breaking on the shore. often from the red tide. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Those waves are churning up the red tide. That's what's causing me to sneeze and cough. Very hazy out here this morning. If I zoom in, you can see how hazy it is looking south. You can barely see the condos of Park Shore down there.
See where these waves are first starting to break? That's where the sandbar is out here. There's a sandbar that pretty much parallels the entire beach. Not too many people out here today. I don't blame them. Nobody wants to come out and breathe in the red tide or smell the dead fish on the beach. Hopefully they'll be, the rangers will be picking them up soon and burying them. Always looking for volunteers to help with the cleanup, that's for sure. If you can handle it, just give the rangers a call here at the park at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Let them know you're interested in helping clean up the beach. Getting rid of these dead fish. Still up under the trees there. We'll go check in with him again. Yeah, no, I see some movement up in the osprey nest up above us here. Let me see if I can. zoom into it there. I can see some feathers moving around there. Looks like some tail feathers. Let's see if we see a little head pop up. Nope. Where you at? That's probably the female up there. You can just see that's her rear end moving around. You have to get really far back down the beach to see the ospreys in the nest now. It's kind of hard to see them just because of the angle. But they're definitely working on starting a family up there. Maybe we'll see some little babies. You never know. So trying to find, follow some other birds around over here. I can't find them. <laughs> I'm zoomed in. Let me zoom out. It's kind of flying around above me here. 
I can't find them. I can't see the screen here. I got a huge glare in it. That's where the osprey nest is that we were watching, right up there. And just under the nest is our friend Roy, sitting in his nest with his book. Hey Rob, how's everything going? Oh, it's still going. Did you have a good walk? Pretty good, yeah. Pretty strong whiffs of that red tide up there though, boy. Well, was, I didn't have much this it morning. It was pretty bad up there. So, yeah, you know, you lucked out if you didn't get any this morning. Well, maybe it's perked up since then. I don't know. Little it's, wind has perked up, yeah, not much. The fish are starting to stink now, starting to rot. <laughs> yeah, they are. They picked them up, I think, last night. They must have. There aren't as many well, this morning well, dead ones as there were last night. Well, I saw quite a few. So, uh,. Got anything profound for us today? <laughs> it's hard to have something profound every day. Oh, not for you. You're the wise one. I hadn't really thought about something profound. <laughs> How about something humorous? Well, this isn't humorous, but I'm reading a reading a really interesting book, and it's all about oil production. Oh, about the, this oil, yes. Yeah, yeah. Boy, oh boy, what a what yeah. a big time this is! All this oil production now they're working on uh, alternate sources of making polar uh, solar panels and all that. All right. Boy, the the world uh, consumption of energy is unbelievable. Isn't it though? Yeah. We are definitely dependent upon it. That's for sure. Very dependent on oil still, unfortunately. Yeah. So that's a quite an interesting subject I've been reading here. It's uh, almost a study, really, of yeah. everything. And that's one, it, huh? One of the interesting things that's going on that we don't uh, really get involved with, other than turning on the switch and the juice comes on. <laughs> yeah, one of those things we take for granted. Yeah, yeah, another one of the things that they've done in a month's amount of research and study. And, new products, new techniques, and yeah. it's quite interesting. Well, quite there's a lot fun. of people switching over, you know, turning to solar power now, and wind, you know, they're putting these big wind turbines up. And yeah, that'd be a good idea. They have a, a lot of solar panels down at the Naples Zoo. They actually put up, it looks like a carport that you park under in the parking lot, Really? but up on top are all solar panels. So oh, they're yeah. using that to get some electricity for the zoo. I guess the White House turned to solar panels too. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know. Well, anyway, it's glorious down here. We don't need solar panels to go in for a swim. <laughs> no, that ocean's a big solar panel. Yeah. That gulf, it's pretty warm out there too. So it's getting beautiful down here for swimming. Well, if you like swimming in the red tide. <laughs> Doesn't bother me any. Yeah, just make sure you rinse off. That's the only thing they say, get that off of you. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Especially if you have any cuts or anything. Huh. You don't want to You want to hit the showers here. Just rinse off, play it safe. Well, that's wonderful. And they're eating the fish, too. They say you can eat the fish. Not the oh, ones on the beach. they're catching them. I don't know. I, I didn't see them catching anything. They said they weren't catching anything today. Oh. Well, you see it any, comes and goes. Yeah, did you see any dolphins? Haven't seen a dolphin this morning. Hmm. But it's beautiful looking out at the blue, blue sea, isn't it? It is beautiful. The blue sky. It is always beautiful in the I'm waves. sitting up here in the shade of the big pine tree. Looking those, watching those waves roll in, that's nice and listening to them. Is, life is glorious, Isn't just it? glorious. That's my word of the day is enjoy the glory of life. Enjoy the glory. <laughs> we're basking in the glory. Aren't we though? We're so blessed, so yeah. blessed. Just... Keep healthy and happy and enjoy the journey. You got that right. <laughs> Can't do much more than that. <laughs> that right? Oh, and be thankful. That's for sure. <laughs> like you said the other day, always yeah, be thankful. so much to be thankful for. Don't be wanting. Be thankful for what you got. That's for sure. I love it.
So everything going well for you, Rob? Yeah, everything's going good. You're creating your various programs, right? Yep, you? yep. I just finished a neat little video up for this for a children's fund for disabled kids. They raised money to buy equipment for them, wheelchairs and hey, vans wonderful. and whatever they might happen to need. Wonderful. Yeah, it's called the Ricky King Children's Fund here in Southwest Florida. Oh, that's great, wonderful. Great little organization, great group of people. So you made a video, uh, pictures of the children yep. or something? And yep, a fundraiser to kind yeah. of tug at the heartstrings. Oh, let that's you, a high calling doing that. That's let important. You, yep, and give people an idea of what they do. Just, just a very short video. I mean, it doesn't really tell about everything they do, but just uh -huh. enough to get you interested. So they look at it on Facebook or something? They will be, they will be. The video hasn't been released yet. Oh, I managed to get on a Facebook and see a pictures of I was of gonna talk you... to you. I was gonna say, why don't you have Jennifer get you on there? Well, I filled with a little here. bit and I got one of the ones, but I didn't get the, I got the Saturday one, but not the Sunday one. I don't know quite why, uh, but huh. I'll let her think She can it. show you how to do all that. She can yeah. show you right on her phone right here at the beach. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> she probably won't charge too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's into that goofy computer thing. Is she? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited. I got to come over and take some pictures of your garden. You have any flowers oh. yet, or are they still well, low? Well, there's little flowers of the ones they sent that are already sprouted. Wow. But uh, oh, they do about a million of those a month, or some <laughs> some huge. Oh, up there, that, yeah, Emily. Yeah, all yeah. Those, uh, those greenhouses they can't have, and yep. they sprout all those little things. They get them sprouted from another manufacturer. Oh, okay. And, and, and then they plant those tiny little sprouts in bigger flower pots, and those eventually grow up, and that's what they do, and then they sell them to the florist. So I got you. Quite an operation. Uh, flowers are one of the more beautiful things there are. Yep. Oh, you're Mr. Green Jeans now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's such a thrill. And... Oh, boy, we're getting a bunch of hearts coming across here. They're, they're sending the love again, Roy. Well, They're showering really, us with love. I'm going to flip really the camera around. Yeah. That. Let's see here. Okay, sweet. Look at this. Here, there's... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's amazing. Here comes the hearts again ah, today. Ah, Look ah. at that. That's you amazing. Just... I love you all. I love you all. That's such the sweetest thing. <laughs> <coughs> my gosh, that's really sweet. Coffin who, from the red who's, tide. Who, who's that old guy there the, <laughs> with the hair, white hair and... Oh, that's not, not too much on top. <laughs> Ugh, my hair's all blown around there. <laughs> oh, look oh, at all those hearts. Really, that's really something. And that that's, is so neat. That this touch, technology t touches my heart. <laughs> touches my heart, really. Yeah. <laughs> who'd have, well, that's sweet. Who'd have thought anybody would love two old guys like us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, that is awesome. Maybe because we're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> still kicking. <laughs> oh, that is, thank you, folks. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Bless you all. Bless yep, you all. Bless you. And thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really something. <coughs> oh, 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 yeah, the see? Old red tide. Yeah. Closing in. Got a whiff of that red tide. Yep, it's coming and going in the breeze here. Yeah. Well, you have a great day. You too, Rob. Long always too wonderful seeing stuff. you. It's always good seeing you, Roy. Always good hearing from you. I'll try to dream up something more profound there for you tomorrow go. morning. Enjoy, what was it? Enjoy the glory? Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey, yeah. the glory. Yep. Be and full of exuberance, exhilaration, be thankfulness. Be and thankful. That's joy. always a good one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Roy. Enjoy your book. Yeah. Enjoy your dip later, your plunge. Oh, that would be great. Have you heard from our friend Bill? Bill? No, I did talk to him a while back. He got back home safely. He's safe and sound up there in Canada? Yeah. yeah. That's good. All right. Well, you have a good one. Wonderful seeing you. Tally-ho. Tally-ho, man. <laughs> have a great day. You too. See you in Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> oh, Roy. Always good chatting with Roy. He brightens up our mornings. He's always got a smile on his face.
It's gonna be a really hot day here in Southwest Florida. Temperature's gonna be in the upper, <laughs> upper eights. <coughs> Whoa, that red tide is strong out here. Looking around, you'd never know we had red tide. Look how beautiful it is out here. It's beautiful blue skies. Pretty nice waves this morning. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, the next time I come out to the beach, the red tide will be gone. Be sure to tell all of your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like. And when you do, be sure to hit the like button and the share button. Make sure you let everybody know where you're watching from. I love the little conversations that go on here in the comments. That's what it's all about. Just making new friends. Enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you might be. I know we've got people watching from all around the world. That is so neat. All different corners of the world. Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.